You know, no one is down. No one is feeling like, you know, this season over with already. I mean, we have 15 more games. Um, I mean, that's the great thing about this, this, the game of football. We have 15 more games. And the, the, the message, another message for us is take it day by day um, and game by game. So that's no doubt that in my mind that nobody in this locker room thinking this season over with for us because we can't turn it around. Looking at Derek Carr, not as mobile as Josh Allen, oh, athletic still, but how do you get to him? Um, we just got to um, win, especially up front. Um, that, that's going to be the key this week. I mean, we see the offensive line and how they got missing, um, you know, they got different pieces, but you know, they're pretty young too. So, I mean, we have to take advantage of whoever we're going against, especially when we get the one-on-ones. And I think we will. Um, you know, I think the challenge is this week is to win our one-on-ones and win up front because, I mean, if we affect him, you know, especially they're running first, they run a game because they do Josh Jacob, you know, he can he can run the ball pretty good. But like I say, affecting um, the um, car, I mean, that's going to be big for us just by beating the offensive line and one-on-ones. Did, uh, did Monday night leave a bad enough taste in your mouth that you don't want to taste it again? I never want to um, taste that again, for sure. I mean, because like I said, we, the, the way we practice and the way we, our mindset going to games like that, you know, we expect to win and we want to win here. So, of course, games like that, um, you know, it's, it, it leave a bad taste. But it's one of them games where you also have to flush fast because you don't want that to go into this week here because, like I said, it's a short week. Uh, we, we had the Monday game, it was all Tuesday, and then we got the Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, of course. But, I mean, like I said, it's one of them games where you got to get over quick. And, like I said, I think we, we're on the right page. Um, we're going here. We can't, got the first and second down plan. Now it's time to go to practice and, you know, go through that. So. And with the Raiders being equally, you know, they've got as much frustration as you all have being at 0 2 as well. Does that, you know, make sure you have to be on your P's and Q's to expecting them to be as desperate as you all right now? I mean, it ain't about them. It's about us. Um, that's, Shane says all the time, it's, it's, it's about us. Um, he tells us defense that, and that's a message to our team. It's not about trying to see who's going to go 0 3. It's about the Tennessee Titans finding a way to get this win. Um, I mean, thematically about the team, because that's the first and foremost thing is that we're thinking about trying to find a way to get one to know. That's always been the mindset that we're having. That's what we're trying to figure out. And it's not just solely a one unit thing. It's a team thing. We all take accountability for how we're playing and how we got to get better and what are the things that we need to do to improve. So those that's how we're thinking about it thematically. What do you think about this line? I mean, you go from one line, obviously, a big challenge in Buffalo to, to them having a couple of really solid guys as well. I mean, it's the NFL. Yeah. I mean, this is the challenge that we go through every single week that we're going to go up against great opponents every single week, week in and week out. So it's a blessing to get an opportunity for me to go up against great lines mm -hmm. and great defensive ends and D tackles and linebackers, just the whole nine yards in turn, like the whole defense. So it's great challenges and great, great challenges come great opportunities. Yeah, how much is, go ahead, Paul. I'd be ready to help the team however I can. I mean, that's something that I, I was able to do at Ohio State in terms of if the team needed me at any position, I'd be willing to help them because that's the first and foremost thing about this team and about how I play as a player is about what can I do to help the team win. And it doesn't matter what position that may be, what, what time during a game, whatever that may be, I just want to help the team win. So that's my mindset every single week. Do you guys feel like you're close in the run game? Um, yeah, I mean, I feel like there's a lot of opportunities that we missed. I mean, there's a few instances here where maybe one guy missed or two guys missed, but those are things that we improve, that we need to improve on, that we need to figure out a way for us to fix those mistakes or find a way just to get that little hole for us to find a way to break through. Yeah. You know what I'll say is that this team is special, and there's a lot of guys here that have won a lot of games prior to us coming here. So I would say that the veterans are a great source for us to lean on and things like that. But not only that, we have an amazing coaching staff as well, from Coach Rabel and then all the other coaches that are on our staff. Like, 
there's a reason why we're all here. There's a reason why we all have this opportunity in front of us. There's a reason why we're all in the NFL because these are the best of the best. And with every um, team, with every player, with every coach, there comes some ups, there comes some downs, but there's a reason why we're able to persevere. People uh, that make it to this thing when they're younger, you know, you play quarterback. Uh, I played quarterback growing up and 17 was just my number that I liked. And then once I got to college, uh, it was the number I wanted. And I told him, told Coach Dues that, and he looked out and got it for me. And uh, also growing up, I always watched a lot of Georgia football and they always had edge rushers in uh, 17 for some reason. And that was just a number that I really liked uh, playing on the edge um, of a defense. It was just something that I liked and wanted to make mine and, and kind of do because not a lot of guys do that. Awesome, appreciate it. Of course, thank you. Sean, what's the, uh, it's okay. you guys have gotten thrown in the fire a little bit here because of injuries to have even more reps than maybe you were expecting. How much pressure is on you guys to hold up the standard? Um, I mean, last year was the same thing, wasn't it? People were going down like flies. It's just part of the game, you know. Football, um, they say, you know, it's 100% injury rate. It's just when it's going to happen to you. It could be big, small. Um, so it's just next man guy, uh, next, next guy up mentality. And uh, no pressure. I mean, new week, new game plan. Uh, everybody's here for a reason. They can play and they know what to do. So go out there and prepare for that. And um, I don't think anybody is too uh, worried some of that. More just focused on what we have and who we have coming up this week, you know? What is the urgency level this week? I mean, you know, this is a league where you got to win. Um, put yourself in the best position um, towards the end of the year. But at the same time, it's not when, when we turn on the film and watch. It's not just a big ball of trash or burning fire or dumpster on fire. There's a lot of stuff to good stuff to, that we have going, and then just small stuff here and there that you really got to clean up that people might not notice when they just watch the game on TV or as a fan. But those little things are what let games get out of control like this, or you lose close games, um, just like week one and two. So I don't think anybody's um, too worrisome, but we're urgent to um, put in the work today, start today flush that behind us and be ready for Sunday. They've got a lot of explosive pieces. How similar or dissimilar is the challenge to what you saw Monday night in Buffalo? Um, I mean, I, I ain't going to do comparisons here, but, you know, those are all NFL player guys, and they have each team last week in Buffalo had elite receivers, elite quarterback, and you'll have the same thing going into uh, this week, but different body types, different skill sets, different sizes, uh, and different plays that they'll call. So it's it's what the NFL is. You're going to be going against elite players that are going to have a different scheme each week. So I think that's all that really is.